Britain's finance minister, promised an additional £30 billion to head off an unemployment crisis, on Wednesday, funnelling money to employers, home buyers and beleaguered hospitality firms, to drive a recovery. A Monaco court on Wednesday, upheld an earlier ruling, dismissing a case against a prominent art dealer, accused by a Russian oligarch of fraud and money laundering, lawyers for the art dealer said. Australia's second-largest city, Melbourne, went back into lockdown, at midnight on Wednesday, forcing 5 million Australians to stay home for all but essential business, for the next six weeks to contain a flare-up of coronavirus cases. Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic called on protesters on Wednesday to stop attending anti-government rallies to avoid further spread of the coronavirus, warning there were no beds left in hospitals after dozens of demonstrators and police were hurt in overnight clashes. Canada is slow to deport foreign nationals ordered to leave the country, partly due to poor data quality and flaws in the way cases are managed, a top official watchdog said on Wednesday. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, on Wednesday, accused China of taking incredibly aggressive action in a recent clash with India over a disputed section of the nuclear-armed neighbor's border, saying Beijing had a pattern of instigating territorial disputes. Britain will suspend purchase taxes for homes costing up to £500,000 until the end of March next year, in a bid to jumpstart the housing market, after the coronavirus lockdown, Finance Minister Rishi Sunak said on Wednesday. Canada handled the novel coronavirus outbreak better than many of its allies, including the United States, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said on Wednesday, in a rare public comment on the faltering US effort. Among a record 11 parties, set to contest Singapore's election on Friday, there has been virtual silence on one of the conservative city-states' most controversial issues, gay rights. The collapse in Britain's labour market eased only slightly last month, according to a survey on Wednesday from the Recruitment and Employment Confederation, industry body which warns that a jobs crisis is underway. Subscribe to LN Network for daily top 10 news headlines. And make sure you hit the bell button for notifications.